Everybody, uh, we're going to start the lecture on Taekwondo. Uh, thank you to Korean Cultural Center for giving us, our school, the opportunity to perform in front of all these great teachers. And we all, always emphasize respect of the teachers because teachers teach our students the knowledge and the basic fundamentals they need to succeed in later life. Okay, and today, uh, I'm going to briefly explain about the Taekwondo histories and what we learned at our studio. And also, our kids have uh, practiced for the past two months so they can perform here today. <laughs> Everyone back straight, hands on your knees. Hands on your knees. Everyone say, Ejo! Hands on your knees. Hands on your knees. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, my name is Sung Kang. I'm the chief master at DK Taekwondo Olympic Branch. We have three locations. And I started Taekwondo when I was six years old, following my friend to a local gym in my neighborhood in Korea. And I have been continuing ever since. I've been teaching Taekwondo in the central Los Angeles area for the past 15 years. And we, our school serves in the Pico Union our community, if you know where that is. Um, and we try to provide our students, because there's a lot of negative views in that community, and we want to give our students something to look forward to instead of just falling back to whatever they're used to see. Uh, we have some brief history of Taekwondo. The name Taekwondo is derived from Korean word Te, means foot, Kwan meaning fist, and Do means way of. So literally it means the way of hands and feet, ways of punching and kicking. <laughs> Great audience today. <laughs> okay, Taekwondo actually are. Uh, to, to tell you about the Taekwondo, you need to know the brief history of how it came to be. Korea was founded many millennia ago, and we were always, uh, we started as a tribal state, and then na nations always uh, having warfare with each other, and in order to do that, they needed to learn some kind of martial arts in order to uh, win the wars. Okay, and during the Three Kingdom period in 6th century AD, what we, what we now call the Korean Peninsula, was divided into three kingdoms, Goguryeo, Baekje, and Shilla. The three kingdoms were at war with each other constantly, fought for new grounds on the peninsula. Archaeological findings during these times, such as mural paintings on the royal tombs during the Goguryeo period, stone sculptures at pagodas during the Shilla period, and documents written in Baekje period shows techniques and fighting stances that were probably the first forms of Taekwondo. In Shilla Kingdom, they have created like a special forces nowadays. It's called the Hwarang, and that's when martial arts really flourished. And I believe Taekwondo had a lot of influence from that period. Uh, Hwarangs were taught to be loyal to your king obedient to your parents, honor and faith among friends, perseverance in battle, and justice never to take life without cause, which still continues today. Those are the uh, values of Taekwondo, what we teach. During the Japanese time, when they ruled over Korea, uh, we were not able to practice our own martial arts, so Taekwondo was strictly forbidden. Also, any other forms of uh, Korean martial arts, such as Taekyun, Subak, and a bunch of other Korean forms were not uh, allowed to be practiced. And that time, karate came over and really did influence a lot of Taekwondo as well. Okay, now, Taekwondo is, has become a really, really big national and worldwide sport. It's in the Olympic Games. And these are the things that I teach our students, and they're gonna perform today. They're gonna show every aspect of Taekwondo, hopefully. 
I believe I and our students, they have practiced hard. They go through so much uh, yelling from me. I yell at them all the time. And, but that's the way of disciplining at our school. Okay, so. Our demo team has prepared an awesome performance for this day. We will demonstrate all aspects of Taekwondo, basic punches and stances for building foundations, foundation in this martial art. Meditation, which allows practitioners to focus, control emotions, and ready their mind before encountering any situations. Forms, or we call Pumze in Korean, which teaches balance, coordination, and focus with combinations of blocks and strikes using your body as a whole. Sparring, to show the sport aspect of Taekwondo, which is practiced worldwide, as it is an Olympic sport event. Breaking, to demonstrate speed, accuracy, technical skills, and most importantly, confidence to break through their fears. And most importantly, discipline and teamwork, which is the most valued aspect of any martial arts. Please enjoy and give generous applause to our students. Thank you.
are gonna do that. Are ready? One, two, three, four. All right, Angel. How was your teacher? She good or no good? Okay, give the teacher the big hand. And one more thing now. All the students get so bored and go in front of the uh, students. Okay, now they're gonna teach you, they're gonna show you how to break a board. Okay, break a board not necessarily does not mean showing up the strength. It's more about fear, overcoming fear. Okay, and you guys hold in front of them. Hammer fist. You guys kick his ass. Alright, Louis first. Hammer fist. Strong cavity. Go! Oh, give him a big hand. Alright, now let's see. Chris, ready? Go! Okay, give him a big hand. Angel, ready? Go! Oh, good job. And. Juran, go! Yes, ma'am. 
No, no, no. We've been practicing this routine for two months. I have some students that's been with me for eight, nine years. Uh, other students maybe six, four years. Other students maybe two years. It's a combination of uh, different levels. Okay. Any other questions? No one. Okay. Thank you so much for this opportunity, everybody. Thank you.